Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I want to share with you this devotion. It's out of Luke chapter 20, uh, verse 20. And uh, what it says, So they watched him, Jesus, and sent spies who pretended to be sincere. They might catch him in something he said so as to deliver him up to the authority and jurisdiction of the governor. Well, we are surprised and probably shocked and appalled to find out that the Savior had come and he, he brings healing. Uh, the dead are raised, the lame walk, the blind see. Good news is preached to the poor and they say, now here's somebody we should plot against. Uh, we should send spies. We can find out if, his, if he can, we can trip him up in his words. Now, of course, we read the Gospels and we rejoice to find out that Jesus couldn't be tripped up in his words. Imagine the humility of God who comes to where not only will he be nailed on a cross, but he'll be scorned, he'll be plotted against. Uh, that people will raise up their schemes against him and, uh, and think him that weak and that vulnerable. God presents a vulnerability of even man's scorn and, and, and man's hatred. And indeed, he's given us the word of God as a, as a picture of that incarnation. We can sometimes misuse it. People can, can skim through the Bible to try to find something that doesn't sound so very good so as to raise up scorn against God. And God still persists in loving us and being present in our lives because he will do that. And he has done that in Christ to reach out to us who, who will not follow after him. And so, you know, don't take time to plot against God. Don't read the Bible to say, well, I'm going to find all the flaws. I, if you want to have a discussion about Bible flaws or, or really hard questions in the Bible, I delight in such things. Please see me. But trust the word of God and you'll get on a lot better. Amen.